YouTube user Zeke the Antique Freak here. We're uh, going to be double checking the timing that I've got set on this uh, Model A Ford engine. So what I've done is uh, I've taken the spark plug out and I've rotated the engine with the crank slowly in the proper direction and waited for compression to be felt at, uh, at the thumb here. This little bolt you'll see it's sticking out the front of the engine now if you take it out and put it back in the opposite way then as you're turning it over very slowly you can uh, you, when you have compression you keep turning and turning until you get to the top dead center and this bolt will drop into a sm small detent on the on the timing gear and uh, it's important to have it fall in when you have taken all the slop out of the gears uh, don't back it up to get that spot come forward to uh, to get that pin in and that'll take all the slop out of the timing uh, gears. So uh, just for my own simplicity, the uh, I've marked the rotor as in the direction that it rotates. This little, I don't know if you can see it, the little gap between the rotor and that pin for number one cylinder, uh, that's uh, fairly important and that, that is adjustable. You can bend that tab to get that clearance so it's not rubbing but it's very close so the spark has to jump across there. Again, just for my own, uh, I've labeled this as to what cylinders each one is. So this uh, little wrench here is, is a handy deal to set the timing. Since the distributor is fixed, it's mounted uh, hard to the engine. And before I put the distributor in, I had filled the, uh, the tray inside there through this hole uh, with engine oil. So to make sure that, the, uh, that it doesn't have to have a dry start. So this little tool works on here, and you can set the uh, set this part with a flat screwdriver. Uh, the goal is so it's pointing at number one cylinder. We're at top dead center compression number one. Uh, the, the rotor's pointing out. Now with this leverage going across here, I've got a very simple little test light and a battery set up here, and I'm going to move the lever up there and I want to get it about, there's little detents on that, I want to get it so that the light goes out at about uh, at about three uh, three little notches, halfway the travel or so. So right now the points are closed, the light is on, so the coil is, uh, is building up energy, so I'm going to uh, just move the lever down a little bit and the light should go out. That would be the points opening and that would be the point of firing. See if I can get both in there. There you go. That's all there is to it. So the idea of being able to adjust the spark is for starting, so that you're not uh, advanced, where it can fire and drive the piston back down the cylinder, especially if you're cranking. So you want to have it in the uh, in a, a retarded position, and then be able to bring it to top dead center, which is about here where the light goes out. So that's firing a top dead center, and then you can give it some advance when you're driving. That's about all there is to it. Pretty simple system.